you have something to say, just say it and stop being such a jerk. Don't look at them, look at me, I'm talking to you. It's the only way I can make money, okay? It's the only way I can survive. There are other ways to make money than selling yourself on the street. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of job opportunities out there for runaways. You could have begged. I did. It wasn't enough. For two whole weeks, I slept under the Santa Monica Pier. Try that sometime, see what you do. Yeah, they got these places. I think they're called shelters. I did what I had to do to survive. I'm not proud of it, but I don't have to apologize to you or to anyone else for that either. I'm not asking for an apology. Oh, really? Then what are you asking for? I don't know. I don't know. Well, when you do figure it out, when you slither back and let me know. Come on, guys, you're late. It's a long hike. So you're serious, huh? We gotta go sit out in the trees, all alone, all that time. I mean, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Think, reflect. Might be a good time to take stock of yourselves, your lives, since you've been here. Why are we going now? It's so cold out. I mean, why don't we wait until the spring when it's at least a little warmer? You do it when we think you're ready, and you get the most out of it. Well, then why aren't Catherine and Ezra going? Because they already did their solos. Never said anything to us. Because it's private. It's only for you. That's why we call it a solo. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Time alone to think. Thanks a lot, Peter. It's very sensitive of you. Michelle, give it a chance. It might be exactly what you need. On the bright side, you'll be away from him for three days. But out more, Tisha. It's none of your business. Who's that? I don't believe it. Dad? Peter. Hello, son. How's my boy? Nice place you got here. I have some business in Seattle, so I thought I'd come up a few days earlier to see what you were up to on this mountain of yours. Dad, it, it's not like I'm not glad to see you. I just wish you would have called first, you know? Sorry for the imposition. <sighs> Dad, you're never an imposition. It's just that we've got solo hikes planned. I've got to supervise. I see. And it's a lot of work. Peter. And, yes? Uh, excuse me. The kids are saddled up and ready to go. Oh, um, Raj, Roger Claypool, this is my dad, Don Scarborough. Hey, pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Scarborough. Uh, pleasure's mine. Do me a favor, tell him I'll be right on. No problem. Thanks. Dad, I got an idea. Why don't you come along with? It's a great hike. No. I... No, thanks. I'm not as fit as I once was. But I'm not going to be back till Sunday morning, Dad. It's okay. Uh, I don't have to be back till Monday. It's not every day I come to see my son. It's my office. Yeah, you can stay at my place if you don't mind. I get a couple of the kids to show you around. That sounds great. Thanks. Um, Dad, is there a particular reason for your visit? Or... No. Well, family business, it'll keep. So how is business? Huh? Actually, I've had quite a rebound the last few months. Uh, I'm happy to say Scarborough Capital is once again very financially secure. Good to hear. Congratulations. In fact, why don't you take this along on your hike to read? What is this? It's our latest quarterly report, a prospectus, and my personal portfolio. Your usual light reading. The office next to mine will be available at the end of the month. Dad. We have covered this over and over again. My life is here at Horizon. Peter, this place was a perfectly acceptable step in your recovery. I see that now. You were right. I was wrong. And if you look at the paperwork, you'll see 
that I've set up a Scarborough endowment for Horizon. You needn't feel you're abandoning your commitment here. Dad, you never listen to me, do you? I built this business, please, Peter. I built this business for you and your brother. For you. For you, Peter. Please. Just read it. Catherine Ezra showing him around. Entertain him as best they can. What? Just trying to get a read on this father-son reunion. Simple. I stopped being the little boy he could bully long ago. And that I got off track there for a while, but I have paid for those sins. Hey, ask any kid here. Parents are sometimes the least forgiving. Sorry, guys. Let's get moving. You know, glad I trained you so well. I hate to burst your bubble there, Sparky, but I do have parents, too. They're trained by real pros. You so? Yeah. Mind me to give you a big kiss later? Maybe. Look, I just... I really think that we ought to talk. Wait, I want, I want to talk to you. There's only two words I ever want to hear from you. I'm sorry. I don't know why you're... Wrong being... words. Okay. Where do we cross? Preferably over a bridge. We are bridgeless, and the solo cabin is on the other side. I'm getting this wet premonition. Come on, read the river. I can't. Dyslexic, remember? Lame excuse. Juliet? Wider over there. And wider means? And lower? And slower means? Safer? Ding, 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 ding. All right. Okay. Next best thing to a bridge. Let's take a load off. We'll cross the river down there. Ten minutes. Well, that's a first, huh? What? We're crossing where I said to cross. Hey, good for you, Twig. You finally got something right, huh? Spending time alone for a trip down memory lane strikes me as a useless exercise. I'm looking at it as a vacation. Scott will come around. I'm sorry. You had me confused for someone who actually cares. Everything okay, Mr. Scarborough? Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything's great, thanks. The kids are taking good care of me. Good. Let's see it. You know, the food is actually better than it looks. I'm not very hungry. Do you want to continue the tour? The lake yet? Well, I think uh, I'd rather wait till tomorrow. I'm still on New York time. You do look tired. Maybe you should call me a cab to take me over to Peter's. Sure. Yeah. 
Peter has your smile. Does he? Guess I never noticed that. All right, everybody. Listen up. This is important. This cabin here is home base. All of your solo sites are within two miles of here. But before we take you to your individual sites, I want you to look around, get your bearings, know where you are, so you can get back here in case of any kind of emergency fast. And remember, even though it's called a solo, we'll still be checking up on you periodically. But we won't intrude. Also, we've put something in each of your backpacks, something from home that we had your parents in. I don't hear any ticking. It's a memento from your childhood, a point of reference. Wonderful. The theme of your solo is rediscovering the child within you. There's also a journal in there and a list of questions. Oh, I can't wait to see those. All right, everybody, let's move out. And remember, take a look around. Find your way back here if you have to. Juliet, your new home. This? Yep. This is it? Oh, you were expecting the Holiday Inn? What do you expect me to do here alone for three days? Use your imagination to take the time to think, to assess yourself. Well, that'll take all of about two minutes. All right, enough guys, let's get moving. Jules, good luck. I'll stay right here, we'll be back for you in three days. Last one's yours, Og. Hey, it's all right. Doesn't suck. You sure know how to get back to the cabin from here? So in my head, man. Don't need no map. Okay. We'll see you in three. Cool. Good luck. What was the first thing you were proud of? Knowing where to cross a river. asleep, except for Shelby. I'm not surprised. 
Okay. I'm reminding you. Peter. What? Well, obviously something has got your attention. And it's not me. It's my father's will. Well, that really sets the mood for the night. What does it say? That my brother and I are the sole beneficiaries. Am I missing something? Why do you seem so upset? Because he never mentioned this to me. Because he just had this will drawn up last week. So? He's doing some housekeeping. It probably doesn't mean anything. You don't know my father. Everything he does means something. What do you want? This is my solo. Look, I just want to talk. Okay. You have two words. Hopefully, they'll be the right ones. So, how bad was it? I mean... You want more details. That, that's great. That's, that's really sensitive. So, how many guys are we talking about? Did you just say that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to... To, to get my head around it, that's all. No, no, that's not all. You're sweating the details because it's all about you. What do you want from me? What do you want me to do? Two words, two lousy words, and you can't even say them. Just go. Please, just leave. I can't get over the fact that Peter and those kids are out camping in such dreadful weather. The weather is the least of their problems. Why is that? They make you do these exercises on Solo where you're supposed to become like a kid again. Oh, doesn't sound so bad. It's good and bad. Uh, the exercises are designed to bring you back to a more innocent time. Which kind of sucks because our less than idyllic childhoods are why most of us ended up here in the first place. I bet you have some good stories about Peter when he was a kid. Yeah, what was he like? I, uh... Sorry to say I didn't know him that well as a child. Well, what do you mean? He was your son. Well, things happened. You know, work was my first priority. That's all I made time for. My family suffered. But, uh... So every so often, he and I would do something during my lunch hour. Like what? What would you do? Usually, we'd walk over to That's all he ever wanted to do. You know, the park is so big. It's like we weren't in the city at all. I remember how much he loved it. That's all he ever wanted to do. Must be why he likes it here. Could be.
We've got a problem, Soph. Ranger just radioed with an emergency weather warning. We gotta get the kids in right away. How bad? Bad enough. Front's moving in from the oceans. Freezing rains, high winds. It's already hitting the valley. Hey, what? I'll start with Augie. You get Julia. How much time? I don't know. Two and a half hours, maybe less. Not unless. Good work, yeah. Hey, this is Garbara. How you doing? Much fun as you think. Peter, Catherine just radioed. Your father's had a heart attack. Look, I'll have the rest of the kids back here in no time. Don't worry about us. Juliet and Augie shouldn't be left alone. Well, this is an emergency situation. Don't respect that. Augie, you and Juliet are on your honor now. Oh, that's old news, man. Ain't nothing happening here. Listen, I'm trusting you. Hey, I hope your pop's okay, man. Me too. Here, you should take the radio. Well, the radio stays here with you and the kids. I'll be back at Horizon in three hours. Three hours? What are you talking about? The hike up took a full day. I'm gonna take the old pipe bridge back across Wilson's Gorge. Peter, no. What about the storm? I'll beat the storm. this along on your hike to read. Probably doesn't mean anything. You don't know my father. Everything he does means something. She's here. Thank God. Mr. Scarborough, the doctor's here. You're gonna be okay. Hey, doctor. Hi. Can you grab that? Sir. I'm Dr. Burke. Uh, Stephanie. Roger Clay. Well, he's right over here. Shelby, I want you to start sealing the windows and use whatever you can to plug the leaks in the walls, okay? The temperature's dropping fast. This is so little house on the prairie. Ooh, the big storms are coming in! You're so lame! Come on, you guys, don't start this. 
Nobody asked you to butt in. This was our business. Right, right. Yeah, you would have liked it if she hadn't have told you, wouldn't you? And then you could go on living in your little fantasy world. Well, maybe you should just stop blaming everyone for your own twisted ego. Is there anything else I can get for you? Thanks, I've got most of what we need back here. There's no ambulance. They can't make it. What? The trees are down all over. The main road is blocked and the fire road is washed out. What about a helicopter? I doubt they're flying in this weather. I'll call the sheriff's station and see what they can do about it for me. Listen to me, do you? Mr. Scarborough? Mr. Scarborough, can you hear me? Yes. My... At my son's school. Yes, you're at Horizon. You're in your son's office. Is he back? No. Not yet. The kids are still here. Well, they don't want to leave you. Come here, kids. Hey, you kids. You don't have to hang around and watch an old man die. You're not gonna die. Say that. I am dying. The doctor knows it, too. And it's going to be fine. Peter's on his way. He'll be here any minute. You good kids. Both of you. He's made a difference to you, hasn't he? I would have been dead without him. That's pretty different. I've been here three years, Mr. Scarborough. I can tell you this. Peter has made a difference in the life of every kid who's known. That's success, isn't it? Campsite. I can't find her anywhere. It's been hours. Maybe we should all go looking for her. No. We're not, nobody's going out there. It's too dangerous. Oh, why did she leave her sight? She knew better. I went there. I, I, uh, I interrupted her solo. You did. What? What happened? Tell me everything. Uh, we got in a fight. My God, how could you possibly... Daisy, enough! Did she say anything? Did, did she say where she might have gone? Scott, think. This is important. No. She didn't say anything. She probably didn't want to be there in case I came back. If anything happens to her out there... Shut up, freak.
he's gonna be all right now, isn't he? His heart sustains significant trauma, but, uh, well, he's fighting. Do you think he'll wake up? I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. You see anything out there? Yeah. The black cosmic joke. What's that supposed to mean? It means we're in here, and she's still out there. What do you want? Listen, Jules, uh... Before, I was just playing my own deck. You know, I, I didn't mean to mess with your head or nothing. You really hurt me. Yeah, I know. What can I say, Jules? I'm sorry. That doll, is that what your mom sent up? Christy Kay. She was my favorite. I don't even know where my mom found her. What'd your folks send? My cars. I used to think they were the coolest thing when I was a kid. I played with them all day. You wanna see them? to do anything for you besides you're beyond help okay you don't like me fine i get it just tell me what she wants from me she wants me to apologize to her for what what did i do it's what she didn't do jocko accept her for who she is let her know her scars are okay with you we're all damaged goods here. But you're so wrapped up in yourself that you can't see anybody else's damage. Scott, what are you doing? Sophie said to stay here. Hey, man. Don't do it, dog. You're just gonna get lost out there. I can find my way back. She can't. That's my dad. Congestive heart failure. He's known for months that he needed a transplant, but the odds of getting one were so slim that he decided that he didn't want to die in a hospital just waiting for a donor. But what if we got him to, to the hospital now? Or... There still wouldn't be a heart waiting for him. And uh, the truth is, he's much too weak for surgery. Thing. I wish I could have done more. 
If there's anything we can do, Peter. You've done so much, honey. I've never to begin to thank you. You guys. Half hour ago. All of you, just stay here. Do you understand? Do not leave. Am I clear? Take my scarf and my gloves. They're dry. Okay, thanks. And do you know what to do? Yeah, I got it down. As soon as Sheriff Swan gets mountain search and rescue up here. Oh, oh. Oh, God, girl. Are you all right? She's all right. Okay, take this off. Let it get your feet to the fire. Okay, we'll get you warm. Okay, let's get your boots off. Scott, you too. And Daisy, get her some tea. Maybe you're not totally used to soft. Maybe you're not either. said you would make it. Dad, how do you feel? I feel... I think it's gonna look a little bit like Central Park. <laughs> you remember? Can't you stay a little longer, Dad? I'm sorry, Pete. I have to go.
Thank <laughs> you.